Today's video is going to be a quick showcase of three phasing the final boss of the latest Ghost of Deep Dungeon, the final boss of Muma, and I'm going to briefly go over what I used and why I used it. If, in case you're curious about the full version of this build, particularly the getaway artist thing that we're going to be talking about first, I'll have a full video about that build tomorrow, so stay tuned for that if you'd like to see that. Like, share, subscribe, and that's up the channel. Much appreciated. Now that we're done selling out, let's get on with the quick build. So part one of three of this fight is the defensive portion, where you just kill everything in the main room. This part, I use Risk Runner and Getaway Artist as a combination to be like the ultimate defense, but also counterattack to everything in the room. So everything in the room shoots you with arc, and what Getaway Artist does is it makes you amplified the moment you eat your grenade, and then it also gives you your sentient arc soul, which is better than the regular variant. This allows you to counterattack with the arc souls, makes you amplify, which gives you more resistance off the bat, and then Risk Runner complements that because Risk Runner itself says when taking arc damage this weapon becomes more powerful and you resist incoming arc damage plus kills extend the timer of this overcharge state where it just literally all reloads forever and you can just kill any target very quickly including the knights the essential job of this is to soak up as much arc damage as you can without feeling threatened like you're gonna get killed additionally you will go in the red sometimes because that's just natural but you have a healing rift to back you up on this as well and also popping your healing rift helps you get your grenade back and then eating your grenade again gives you sentient arc soul once again so just one big chain final note here the reason why i am rocking a bipod rocket during this portion of the fight is simply for ammo purposes i don't actually shoot this gun ever i never use it for its actual perks well i do but it involves just swapping off the weapon and bipod giving me so much ammo that when i swap to a different weapon i still get my maximized ammo for dps now speaking of which i'm going to explain the next portion after you've collected the third relic to dunk to start the damage phase, I'll be going to my second swap here, which is still on Arc Warlock. However, I've switched to Geomags and Arbalist. Arbalist is here to just one-shot the boss's shield off immediately, giving us more time to DPS her out the gate, as well as hopefully making her not teleport like a psycho. Then Geomags is simply there because you want to pop off right after the Arbalist shot and put some damage on the boss, and while the Geomags super is running out with Chaos Reach, you hot swap to your third and final swap. The third swap is straight to Leviathan's Breath for your damage, and then the Stag for more damage resist as you'll be popping your Rift. For this portion, I ended up just popping Empowering Rift instead of healing, and hoping that I just stagger the boss enough to the point where she doesn't hit me that much, and if she does, I also try to jump out of the way or move side to side, whatever works. And what this does basically between that and Leviathan's Breath is it keeps her in place most of the time, Occasionally she might move a little bit, but for the majority of the DPS, I have her in place in one spot and it helps you just get the crits over and over. And of course, Leviathan's Breath also hits like a truck. Additionally, I also try to keep my grenade here in the event that I get hit by Thrall from behind. I would throw the grenade on the ground and that would hopefully give me enough Ionic Traces back to feed me a second Rift during the damage phase. And then hopefully that would let me get in more damage with two Rifts instead of one. Smaller things to note here are having Harmonic slash Arc Resist on for the boss, of course, and then having the proper Surges on for when you switch to Leviathan's Breath, which is Triple Void Surge, as well as having Void Loader in your gloves for Levy's Breath in case something goes wrong and wacky. So that's it for the building portion of the video. The rest I'm just going to play out as normal. I'm going to cut down a little bit because nobody wants to watch 30 plus minutes of three phasing a boss, of course, but I'll keep the actual damage phases in for, you know, proof of concept and all that. So enjoy the video, like, subscribe, like I said, if you enjoyed the video, it does help the channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next video, which will be the uh, Arc Defense build. Alright, catch you then. Goodbye. Who else but Zoidberg? Damn, that was a long one.
Mm, they showed up on time anyway. They respawn again? Or was that the Acolytes? Okay, that could have gone better. I, I kind of like screwed up my shots a little bit there. Okay, I don't know where the fuck they went, so GG to that, I guess. Why is it never went where I want it to be? Choose your destiny. I'm not gonna lie, that scared the shit out of me as I was popping her shield. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Three phase. Now, give me the god roll rocket while I'm at it. <laughs> 